Hi everyone, this is Monique back with another project designed for Wild Orchid Crafts on behalf of the Wild Bunch. Today what I'm going to share with you is a frame that I have altered and more specifically a frame for my banner here. So just let me zoom out. So this frame I actually got at a discount because it was damaged. So I wanted to redo the finish on it. What I did was I, I added a crackle effect, first by painting antique white, and then I used a crackle medium and painted black over top. So I'll just bring this in a little bit closer. Hopefully you can see that crackle effect a little bit better. Now it is just a subtle crackle effect, but I really like how it turned out. After it was crackled, I used my rub and buff, my gold rub and buff, just to accentuate all the different uh, details on the frame. And then finally, I added just a matte finish of some glue and seal over top. I wanted to do that just to seal it. Also, I find it brings out the color, but I didn't want it to look really glossy. So the matte, um, I thought, was a very good choice for this. So I'm just going to start in this bottom left hand corner. Uh, hopefully the video won't be too long. I do have a plethora of Wild Orchid Crafts products on this frame so we'll try to get through it all. So this large flower here is just the Deep Ivory Large Gardenia flowers and what I did was I used my blending tool with a little bit of uh, Dusty Concord Distress Ink on the, on the edges and then I spritzed it with some of my Blazing Sun Lindy Stamp Gang just to, to help the ink bleed and also give it a little bit of shimmer. You'll see the stamens on many of the flowers are dark brown and I've done this in previous videos. What I do is I use my Perfect Pearls with water and I just paint it onto the stamens because I like the contrast. So underneath the gardenia I've layered two of these um, daisy blooms, the white daisy blooms, and I just sprayed those again with some Lindy Stamp Gang. I've got the a Cosmo Daisy, actually a couple of them here, and those I did not color at all. I've added, and you'll, you've seen me use flowers from this pack many times, but this is yet another color. This is from the mixed two-tone color Wild Roses in the one-inch size. In this pack, you guys, it's so versatile. I've probably used it on every one of my projects so far, and every one of them looks so different as a, and is a different color. So it's a really good way to get a variety of colors of flowers for a variety of projects all in one package. And here I've got... This is the 15 millimeter rose, and this is from the Mixed Two-Tone Roses pack. I have a couple of the Heather Stem Flowers here, a Hip Rosebud, and this is a semi-open rose. You can see I've also included some of the stems I've curled some of the stems and included those for a little bit of variety. In the back here I have the gold crystal drops on gold stems and I've used not only a full stem here but also have used individual crystals in between many of the flowers here. In behind I've got a variety of leaves. Right here I've got two different sizes. I have the 40 millimeter white leaves, which I sprayed with my Mystic Malachite Lindy Stamp Gang spray. And I've layered the 30 millimeter two tone rose leaves over top of it. Down on the right hand side of this gardenia, I've got this curly wild rose. It's the small, and that's from the mixed color pack here. And I'll put all of the codes along with the descriptions down in the description box of this video so it'll be really easy to reference what I've used. So I've got another hip rosebud here. This again is a 15 millimeter rose from the same pack. It's just a different color that I've used. 
And again, this is another Cosmo Daisy. Along the bottom here, I've used some Ivory Guipure Lace. This one here, which is, I think, just beautiful. Along the top, I've added some 6mm flat back pearl string. And what I've also done for the centers of each of these, I don't know, each of these circles on the lace, I've, I've cut off one pearl from the string and glued it into the center of each. On the bottom right hand corner, and you'll see the top left hand corner here, I've added the filigree gold corners. These ones here. In the upper right hand corner here you can see I've included more of the six millimeter flat back pearls in ivory. I've got a small deep ivory gardenia flower and I've given it the same treatment as the one in the bottom left hand corner with a dusty rose. I've then also layered it on top of some blooms but I used the one and three quarter blooms instead. I've got another one of the curly wild roses, the small here. Cosmo Daisy. These small blue roses are again from the 15 millimeter pack. This rose here is from the 20 millimeter two tone mixed pack. I've got two of the same leaves that I used down in the bottom left hand corner. I've got some hip rosebuds here, several of them. I've also included a couple of the semi-open roses here. And I've added a couple more sizes of leaves there. So I've layered the 20 millimeter and the 15 millimeter leaves underneath this rose and this rose is actually um, a 10 millimeter rose and there there's a pink rose in here but it wasn't two-tone like these these other flowers from the other pack so what I did was I used a white flower and I just used a little bit of sponge sugar distress ink on the edges of the petals and I misted it and let it bleed into the petals and it gave it this beautiful two-tone effect which looks almost identical to this so I really like how that turned out so that's my project for this week I hope you guys liked it please leave me a comment if you have any questions about any of the products let me know and I will answer your your questions thank you so much for watching bye bye